The prototype had a metal fuselage, cantilevered laminar flow wings with ailerons and flaps, and vertical fins and rudders at the wingtips. The forward canard type surface performed the function of elevators. The XP-55's pusher propeller was powered by a rear-mounted engine, giving the aircraft a streamlined frontal area. Its smooth lines seemed even more exotic because of the plane's swept wings, wings more fitting of a 1950s jet fighter than for a late 30s prop plane. The original design called for a Pratt & Whitney engine with 2,200 horsepower, but that engine wasn't available so a 1,200 horsepower Allison was fitted instead. It was no surprise when the Ascender's original design speed of over 500 miles an hour was never reached. Even so, it was a true groundbreaker. To compensate for the Ascender's lack of a tail, a small canard wing was mounted on the nose of the airplane. Ironically, the canard, the rear main wing, and the pusher propeller all echoed the designs of Glenn Curtis's old rivals, the Wright brothers. Slow in development, the Ascender just couldn't outperform or even equal the more conventional American fighters of the era. And although the design never went into production, its features were in many ways prophetic. The pusher propeller, the canard, and the swept wing are all commonplace on many contemporary planes. The most notable examples being the innovative home-built designs of Burt Rutan, like the Very Easy and the Defiant.